Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna be going over some major advantages of growing organically. Maybe some stuff that I haven't really touched base on, but first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget if you wanna come and check out our grows and just chill with us, be sure to follow us on Discord. Link to that will also be in the description below. First of all, let me know in the comment section whether you're an organic grower or if you prefer using synthetic fertilizers, if anybody even uses synthetic still. But let me know because I'm pretty curious to know. And the one thing that I'm gonna say is that growing organically will always be better for the environment no matter how you look at it. I don't even care who you are at this point, bruh. So let's break down all the different positives and negatives of growing organically first. You're improving soil structure. You have less of a chance of burning and overfeeding because organic nutrients are not highly concentrated as opposed to the synthetic fertilizers. Now, organic growing also enhances microbial life. I, I always talk about that. You deal with less runoff, which means less work for you when you have to drain your trays. And I don't know about you guys, but less work for me, that's an absolute win for me. That's how I look at it. And the really cool thing is, I think I mentioned this before, but if you're hydroponic, just if they were to close down for any reason at all or if there's just no shops in your area you can grow organically by just using a lot of stuff that's already in your house you can use stuff like coffee beans banana peels food scraps eggshells even wood ash I mean there's a lot of stuff in your house that you could actually use for organic growing also before I forget all you rockers out there be sure to subscribe to our music channel that we just launched maybe a week ago link to that is gonna be in the description below as well as a lot of you organic Organic growers know dry organic amendments are slow release which can be an advantage but it can also be a disadvantage it really depends on how you look at it but to me I would put that under an advantage because even though your plants can't use those amendments right away it's still gonna provide your plants with a solid balance of diet I mentioned this in a lot of other videos they're not getting hit all at once as opposed to using the synthetic fertilizers and the one thing that I did discover is that not all dry amendments are gonna break down at the same time we've been using the down-to-earth that usually breaks down within a week and the Gaia Green that we've been using, I've noticed that it takes about a week and a half, maybe two weeks, a little bit longer for them to break down those nutrients. Now, just like everything else in this world of existence, there's always gonna be bad when there's good. And some of the bad things about growing organically is that it can get pretty expensive up front. Some of you guys prefer to look at it as an investment like I do, but some people just look at what's in front of them, like the upfront price without thinking outside the box. So it really depends on on what side of the fence you're on. Organic growing is said to attract more pests, but I haven't had any issues with pests for years, and I would say that you can attract more pests whether you're growing organically or if you're using synthetic bottled nutrients. And I guess the only bad thing that I can see about growing organically is pretty much, it's a catch-22 when it comes to the slow release because you might overdo it and not even realize it until a week or two later after all the stuff breaks down. But this comes with more experience, and it's something that you'll be able to dial in a little bit better as you keep growing and progressing in your growing journey. I also feel like the growth that you get out of growing organically, it's just ridiculous, okay? I don't think I've ever had insane growth using synthetic stuff like I've used a Dirty Dozen, I've used a Humble Secret, I've even used ILGM nutrients. They just they just don't do it for me, you know what I'm saying? So if you compare like the bottled synthetic stuff as opposed to the organic stuff, I mean, it's like night and day. I mentioned it before about microbial life and using organic nutrients like you can use the worm castings, composting, the bone meal and the fish bone meal that I absolutely love using. If you guys are familiar with my compost tea. I also like to call it my FOS tea. I got a video on that. Be sure to check that out. I mean, all that stuff, it just enhances beneficial microbial life and that's how your plants are going to really thrive. I also mentioned a little bit earlier that growing organically improves soil structure, but I wanted to touch base a little bit more on what I meant by that. Now, when you have a ton of microorganisms, that's all going to create a better soil structure. Now, a lot of the crap soil without all that microbial life, it just seems to kind of crumble and, and break down, you know what I mean? More or less, it's trash. But when you have soil that's completely packed with microbial life, the soil always stays 
compact and like even when you're touching the soil like it's just overall better quality and I mean you can definitely tell there was one year I don't remember what it was I was actually living at my cousin's house maybe this was five years ago I had this soil that I got from the backyard and it was like it was almost like clayish kind of soil oh my god it was so terrible my plants absolutely my seedlings absolutely hated it man they love that loamy soil the really nice loose airy kind of soil that's what they really like with all the microbes packed in there and like even when you like when I would hold both of those soils together and it like one hand and the other is just like oh my god you could definitely tell a difference so that's what I'm talking about when it comes to soil structure you hear that right it's kind of hard to make a video right now. We're gonna have to push through this. Anyway, like I was saying, as far as the runoff is concerned, I don't know about you guys, but I prefer to work less, and if I can eliminate having to drain my trays every time I water my plants, that's gonna be a win right off the bat. I mentioned it before, I really just wanted to reiterate that again. That's also another reason why organic soil holds water a little bit better, which means that you don't have to water them nearly as much, and this is especially good because then your plants will be able to suck up all the amount that are available to them when they're actually available to them. This is pretty much why I stopped with all the Fox Farm stuff, you know, with the soil and the amendments. I still use the Fox Farm for the seedling stage, but other than that, I pretty much moved on and I started with the Promix HP. I used the Promix HP a long time ago, but then I kind of went back to Fox Farm. I don't want you guys thinking, oh, well, you know, you just started Promix making videos. No, 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 no. I used Promix before as well. Now, with the Promix, using the Down the Earth and the Gaia Green that we've been doing, doing like the last I don't know maybe six seven months and you know the plants just always seem a lot happier and healthier that's something I noticed when we were using the Fox Farm soil and then when we were just making our own custom soil with the suit this pretty much a super soil mix with the pro mix HP my plants just seem to really thrive I'm sure you guys are asking well when did you start to realize that your plants are thriving when were you able to see the difference and honestly after I transplanted like the cocoa pots into the final home Maybe one week later, that's when it was. I also used a lot of the mycos, you know, I pretty much spread it around the root ball and I spread it around the walls and like the bottom of the hole, you know, where you transplant into. And I was like, wow, I never got this kind of explosive growth with the Fox Farm stuff, even if I would be using the mycos. So this is, I'm telling you, they absolutely love that super soil mix. So if you're kind of curious about what soil mix to run, make sure you watch my super soil mix video, it might change your lives. But anyway, the whole point that I'm trying to make is my plants seem a lot happier with the super soil mix with the dry amendments as opposed to using the synthetic nutrients with the fox farm stuff. I tend to ramble, but you get what I was saying. One problem lots of people have is nutrient burn from overfeeding. I know, I know, this isn't news to anybody here. Now everybody is guilty of this. A lot of beginner growers are more prone to adding a ton of more nitrogen. It's always nitrogen which causes toxicity and the best way to tell is that when your leaves start to turn a really dark green color and you can really notice it when the tips they have like this this they start clawing straight down I mean that is like as soon as you have that and right there that's where you know that you got nitrogen toxicity off the bat you burned your plants so if you got a problem with nitrogen toxicity overfeeding nutrient burn try going with dry organic amendments it's gonna be a lot better you're gonna love the slow release way and growing organically is just gonna be a lot more sustainable in the long run now let's talk about the advantages of synthetic fertilizers because this is gonna be pretty quick and easy it's convenient and super cheap like that's about it. It's a lot easier to follow a feeding schedule going to synthetic nutrients because all you have to do is look at the schedule and that's pretty much it. Everything that you need to do, like everything is already set in stone what you need to do. And a lot of people like that. A lot of people like just following directions and not really learning anything about what they're actually giving their plants. And on top of it, it's convenient. It's just less work involved. You just add it to the gallon of water that you're gonna be feeding your plants with and that's pretty much it. But there's so many any disadvantages. I'm sure a lot of you guys heard of that salt buildup and then you gotta flush your plants every three weeks or so and it's just a pain in the butt, you know, because synthetic nutrients, like I mentioned, I probably mentioned like two or three times already, is highly concentrated. So it's super easy to burn your plants and a lot of newer growers already have that problem. So it's like, it's easy and convenient, but it's also easy to mess your plants up as well. And listen, every time you mess something up with your plants, now they have to stop what they're doing. They gotta fix whatever problems that you already created 
created and then that's what's gonna hurt your yield, like your overall yield because they're focusing more on fixing your screw up and they're focusing less on producing big flowers for you. I think I was watching a video from GT, Welcome to the Grow Tent, a while ago or I don't know, maybe it was, it was most likely a live stream. I don't really watch any grow videos, but anyway, GT said that every time I'm gonna always remember this. He said every time that you get a deficiency, you're sacrificing your yield and I mean, he hit the nail right on the head. I mean, he couldn't have been more right. And that's not to say that you have to try to be perfect because everyone's gonna mess up at first and everyone's gonna mess up for many years, many years. A lot of people like to think that you're, oh man, I'm just gonna dial it in, I'm never gonna mess up. But here's the thing, technology is always changing. There's new brands, there's new companies out there, there's new techniques, different formulas out there. Whenever these new formulas come out and you wanna dive right into that, you're gonna mess up. You have a higher chance of messing up because you haven't used it before. And and that's perfectly okay, that's perfectly normal. But I mean, once you dial your stuff in a lot better and you don't really have that many deficiencies to deal with, you're gonna be a lot better off. And that's actually another point I wanna make. Growing organically, you can keep using the same stuff, the same household stuff, and guess what? It's not like, oh, one brand goes out of business, you gotta use another brand, and you gotta experiment, and you don't know what the ratios are, even if you got the NPK values, and it's just a headache. So that's another positive about organic growing. You're the world's not gonna run out of bananas or eggshells or like food scraps or like coffee beans or anything else around the house. Wood ash, you're burning wood and then you could actually use that for your pest because it dries out the larva. These are just some examples that I make. So that's another reason why I think organic growing is better because you're not ever going to need to adjust what you're doing. All right guys, so I feel like I covered a ton of stuff when it comes to organic growing. If there's anything that I didn't say or didn't think of, definitely drop it in the comment section below. I mean, if I I talked about everything when it comes to organic growing. This would be like a one hour, maybe even a two hour video. So I'm trying to not make it that long of a video for you guys. But anyway, before we close out today's video, I wanna thank everyone on screen who's been supporting us on Patreon. I really appreciate the love and support, guys. So I'm gonna close out today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.